Shalom and welcome to week 24 review of the Premiership Israeli Basketball League. This is the coverage of Game 2 in the quarterfinal series. I'm Gil Barak. Here we go. Maccabi Haifa Heat's players were very disappointed from their loss in Romema, so in game number two they wanted to take control right from the start. Perkins and Jefferson started with a play that one usually sees in a league overseas. What an amazing dunk! However, Bnei Sharon had Arya Nubel who answered right back with a great dunk of his own and led the hosts to a four-point lead after 10 minutes. In the second quarter it was Ricky Robbie's turn to show what he knows and it looked good. Haifa lost concentration and Bnei Sharon kept its four-point lead at the break, 36-32. to You guys are probably familiar with the phrase that the little things make the difference. So here are two examples for that. Jefferson got the bucket and went to the line. He missed the shot but grabbed his own rebound and got four points out of the play. Right afterwards, Sales went to the line. This time it was Perkins who got the hold of the free ball and again, four points in one play. Idoku Jikaro gave Haifa a two-point lead and the boss Jeff Rosen started to smell a victory. Sean James went to the line and tied the game at 71. Then Perkins did the same on the other end of the floor and Haifa was up by two again. Three and a half seconds to the end, it was Erez Katz's turn. He missed the first. Missed the second deliberately. Perkins took the rebound and Haifa won the game 75 to 71. The series is tied now with one victory apiece. The run after three times you lost to Bnei Sharon, how sweet is this victory now? Um, you know, more importantly than the three losses, it's, it's sweet just to tie this series up, you know. Being, going down 2-0, it's going to be a tough climb. You know, 1-1, one, one, we're back at home, so hopefully we can take care of his business. Personally, it looks like you're a bit, uh, it's a bit difficult to you to balance between uh, the need to get your team involved and the, the need to score your personal points. Exactly. Um, th this game, you know, I try to focus, get my team involved and try to, you know, pace myself. Coaches will take me out. I was frustrated because they took me out, but, you know, it worked down the stretch because I had a lot of energy to finish the game out. The arena in Ashkelon presented a full-capacity crowd when the hosts with the 1-0 lead in the series met Maccabi Tel Aviv for game number two. Vinny Gershon's team played the perfect first half. Roshan Turner, who was great at the first game, saw a double and triple team whenever he touched the ball and had a weak game throughout. In offense, everything went Maccabi's way, and the gap rose as the game progressed. Pay attention to this next play. The ball moves from one player to another. Everyone gives up a shot to find the teammate with a better look at the basket, and at the end comes the three-pointer. 27-13 was Maccabi's lead after the first quarter. Turner continued to struggle in the paint, and Ashkelon looked terrible. Carlos Arroyo had no mercy and fed Dio Fisher with a great assist. From then on, Maccabi switched into showtime mode and at the break the visitors led 49 to 25. Fortunately for Ashkelon, Maccabi took its foot from the gas pedal in the second half, which was a complete garbage time. At the bottom line, Maccabi got its home court advantage back with a great victory 86 to 69. The third game will take place in Nokia Arena comes next Thursday. Uh, we wanted to come out tonight and you know, and uh, play really well, play together, and show our, you know, show our power, and, and um, you know, and make a statement. You know, um, it's very dangerous when you give teams like this confidence. And um, you know, we were sleep early, <laughs> you know, last game, and uh, we just want to come out and, and just really, really, um, just be together and, and show and show what we really are about. Oded Katash's team wanted to take advantage on its road win against Holon and make it a 2-0 series as it hosted the second game at Ganner. In the first few minutes we saw a battle of pushing and shoving under both baskets with a high level of aggressiveness and energy the way a playoff game should be played. Gal Mekel who won the player of the month award was the only one who found the net and a three-pointer by Dagan Yavzuri made it a 17-13 lead in favor of Gilboa Galil after 10 minutes. In the second quarter we saw some offense on Holon's part. An 8-0 run put it back on top. The run Washington was focused beyond the arc and the quarter scored was 25-9 to Holon who was up 38-26 at the break. 
Brian Tolbert had 10 out of Holon's 12 points in the third quarter, and the champs were still ahead. The game heated up with some trash talk between Kadir and Washington, and Gilboa Galili with some aggressive plays managed to cut down Holon's lead to 4, 10 minutes to the end. Washington and Kadir kept on fighting in the last quarter. It wasn't a great basketball night, but there were no complaints regarding the motivation and playoff atmosphere, which was in the air. Two minutes and 50 seconds to the end, a three-pointer by Guni Israeli tied the score at 56. The game was close until the last seconds, and who else but Brian Tolbert with an amazing three-pointer gave Holon a three-point lead, 30 seconds to the end. <laughs> One made it a one-point lead. Gilboa Galil sent Yahoo Oland to the line. His second shot went out, and the visitors had the last chance to win or send the game to overtime. Israeli passed to Swan, who missed. Hulon wins, barely, 63-61, to and even the series. Everybody knew this was going to be a tough series. But for us, when we lost the last game, we just had to take care of, of, of ourselves. I think we worried about Galil a little too much, and we lost track of ourselves. And this week, we wanted to get back to us, and I think we did that, even though they made some big shots and they played well. I think we just, we just grinded it out and ended up getting the win. Paul Jerusalem went up north to visit Ironina Aria in the white jersey. By the end of the first quarter, after 23 points for each team, Jerusalem took over the game. Omar Snead was unstoppable. Sharon Sasson shot from the outside, and with a 22-6 Jerusalem run, Guy Gudis' team was up 52-40 at the break. Naria came out from the locker room differently in the third quarter. Matan Naor and Ron Lewis nailed the three-pointers, and with a part of a 16-0 run, tied the game at 60 apiece. Jerusalem kept the pressure in the defensive end and ran with 11 unanswered points. The visitors made it a 17-point lead in the beginning of the fourth quarter, but an amazing game of 39 points by Ron Lewis put Naria back in the game, only down by 8. Then Snead took care of things and made sure that Jerusalem will come out with the victory, which puts it on top 2-0 in the series. Jerusalem is now only one victory away from making it to the Final Four. Thanks for watching the coverage of Games 2 in the quarterfinal series of the Israeli Basketball League. I'm Gil Barak, so long.